morning. How are we all? I hope we're all good. It's currently quarter past eight on Tuesday the 6th of February and I have a very exciting week planned. I'm just waiting for my granddad to pick me up. I am on my way to London. My hair's gonna go so frizzy in this rain. I'm a bit under the weather so you might be able to hear it in my voice. But I'm heading to London for a couple of days for meetings, events, and it should be fun. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. This is my outfit of the day. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably recognise this mirror. <laughs> so I take all my outfit pictures. I'm off to an event when I get straight to London. I want to feel put together, but I also want to be comfortable for travelling. And I've tried to pack light. I've got these Gucci boots on, which I picked up recently from Vista Village. And look how cute they are. Like the Tom Ford heel. I've got a pair of the Gucci monogram heels with the same heel on. So they're so comfy because they're not too high. And I just wanted a black boot with a skinny ankle that has a bit of a twist on it. I like how pointed it is. The leather trousers I have on are Manco, I believe, but I had to get them altered because I'm five foot two for reference. So any trousers I get, I usually have to get them altered because they're too long. What I have on is my Celine belt, which does not get enough wear. I'm trying to wear this more this year. T-shirt is Uniqlo. I feel like Uniqlo do the best t-shirts and men's ones as well. Michael loves the men's one. And the blazer is from Jeff Avenue. I've got this in grey as well and I just feel like it's the perfect boxy oversized fit and because I'm small it's not like too long but yeah I get loads of wear out of this one. Say bye! Say bye! You be a good boy! Good kitties! He's in a mood. Then to keep me toasty I've just chucked on this coat by Mango. I love an oversized coat especially this time of year I just feel like you could have anything on underneath and you chuck this on and it looks great so that is the outfit of the day. I need to go or else I'm gonna miss my train. <laughs> My granddad's giving me a plastic bag to cover my hair with. <laughs> right, I'm going to make a run for it. <laughs> Can't see where I'm going. <sighs> We're in. at the NYX Hotel. I think it's called NYX. NYX. It's the same thing with the makeup brand. How do you pronounce it? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> but I've just checked in. I'm staying here for two nights. It's just me, which I'm really looking forward to having this bed to myself. Sorry, Michael and Blue. I've just got back from an event with Nas and I feel like I'm all talked out. I'm full of cold. You could probably already tell. Oh, the sound of that. I've literally not been able to hear out of my left ear for a week and then the train journey set my other one off so I can barely hear anyone. I felt like I was just shouting at everyone at the event. I just hear myself speaking. I'm sick of the sound of my own voice at this point. I feel like I need to get comfortable. They've given me a goodie bag so I'll go grab it and show you. We have the goods. Such treats. So what do we have in here? I've not got any lipstick on at the moment. I have eaten it all off with pasta. Oh, these are sweets from the hotel. Me and my sweet tooth. Do you like Harry Boy Straws? So good. I'm really showing my diet here, aren't I? With sweets and Diet Coke. <laughs> anyway, I'll insert some footage of the event if you've not already seen it. I always get really nervous to get my camera out in situations like that. I know that that's what everyone's there for, I guess, and everyone's used to it, but yeah, it still, still scares me. So we've got in here, what do we have? Let's read this. The new Power Matte High Intensity Lip Pencil. So it's like a lip pencil slash liner slash lipstick, so it kind of does it all for you. Really easy to apply, which I love products like this. Fully loaded matte lip formula charged with 12 hour staying power. We love that. It's in C meets precision in a pencil format, delivering unstoppable saturation that's unexpectedly comfortable. So a matte texture that's comfortable on the lips is a winner for me. Okay, there is 10 shades here. I don't know if this is the full range or if there's any more. I'm not going anywhere, but I really want to try one, so... Let's choose, I might do Endless Love. This is like a true first impressions. I've not even played around with them. I had a couple out at the event, but I didn't really get a chance to play with them. Ooh, they're creamy. See how quickly that glides on? No, ignore the rest of my makeup. I've had this on since seven o'clock this morning. <laughs> Look how easily that glides. So that's like a lip liner and a lipstick in one. 
and that's a trick I like to do. If you rub them together, you can figure out where your top lip transfers to on the bottom and then use that as a guide and fill it in. You can overline if you want. I tend to do that a lot, but I feel like, I feel like I want to kind of blur the edges. I'm a bit washed out sat here, but I love that colour. Thank you, Nas. I didn't realise that this hotel had a spa and a pool. If I'd have known that, I would have brought a swimming costume and spent the afternoon in this spa. But I didn't, so what I'm going to do instead is sit and do some work for a little bit. And then I'm going to fake tan and have a pamper evening because tomorrow I have a jam-packed day. <laughs> oh, I am feeling that shade. Right, I'm going to go put something comfortable on and do some work. I've just fake tanned. Please tell me I'm not the only one that has a tanning outfit. I think it's pretty self-explanatory where this is from. I don't know if they sell this anymore, but they should, because it's great. The tan I use, by the way, is the Saint Tropez Tanning Mousse. This is the Express one, and I really like it because you can leave it on to like one to three hours or longer if you desire. Very good if you're pale like me. It gives a really nice glow to the skin without looking orangey, which I hate in fake tan. And I've tried a lot of fake tans over the years, and this is my go-to. just yet but it'll be launching soon. We've tried the magic cream, you will probably love this one. And it's the magic water cream and if you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen it a lot. I love that too. This calls Tilbury Tap. The Tilbury Tap. Yes. Stimulates blood circulation, so you get that rosy cheeks and even more lift. Gorgeous. Look at the glow. And we're going to finish you off with the lip Ooh. oil. Oh, I love that as well. I know. Doesn't it smell so gorgeous? So good. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at the glow. I've just come into the toilet because I need to add a touch of concealer on these old friends that I picked. To have a meeting, but you're gonna love this new product. We're back. Let's recap on the day because I feel like I've only managed to get snippets of it. I started my morning with a gorgeous breakfast with Shantakai to celebrate their new Sea Turtles collection. The collection itself is beautiful. I have it right here. I've also been wearing one of the lipsticks today. It consists of two eyeshadow palettes, one warm and one cool. Look how beautiful the packaging is. But not only is it gorgeous, it also helps protect the sea turtles. These are the two beautiful eyeshadow palettes. We have the warm one here and the cool one here. If I swatch, you can see how beautiful. Can you see that? And they've also launched four shades in the lip sheet. Beautiful. I feel like they're collector's pieces. That is a gorgeous corally shade. It's not going to pick up on camera. I'll put a little bit on. 
These are so, so nice. After my gorgeous breakfast with Chantakai, I made my way to a dreamy facial with Charlotte Tilbury. Look how glowy my skin is. All I have on is that lipstick you've just seen me apply. A tiny bit of concealer underneath my eyes. Some little friends I decided to pick last night in good timing. I can't believe how glowy my skin looks. I don't want to wash it. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury also have a very exciting new launch coming soon, which I think you'll really like. If you are a fan of Charlotte Tilbury skincare, then I think you'll really enjoy this. I don't know if I can say, because by the time this goes live, it probably will have been announced, but I don't want to get in trouble, so you'll have to wait. <laughs> Then I had a meeting with my gorgeous agent, Allegra. We love Allegra. With another beautiful brand I'm really excited to try the products from. All round, very productive, beautiful day. So now I'm going to sit and edit for a little bit before I get ready for tonight's event. Could do with a nap, to be honest. I'm still not feeling any better. But all I've done is moan about how unwell I feel in this vlog. So that's a common running theme with me. If I have a nap, I think I'll feel worse. So I'm going to power through. So this is the dress I've gone on wearing tonight. It's a Zara number, but from a while ago. I think I got it like October time maybe, and just never got around to wearing it. But can you see how I've had to bobble it here? So what I'm planning on doing is my little sewing kit, which my Nana packed me up. It must be a thing with L'Oreal events because the last one I went to in December, I had to do the same thing. Sorry I was saying before my camera rudely died on me, that in December I was invited to a L'Oreal event and it was all very last minute. Didn't have a dress, went and bought the dress literally an hour before I went to the hotel and it was too long. Luckily my Nana had given me a little sewing kit in case it was too long. Whilst I was manically getting ready, my two friends pinned the dress for me and I'll insert some pictures of the dress that I wore. The photos that were taken, I literally had pins all around the bottom of the dress to keep it up. It must be a L'Oreal curse with my dresses. I need to remember where I've put that. So maybe I'll pin it, snip it, and then stitch it. My sewing skills are not very good. Right, the damage is done. Ah, uh, I hope I'm not broken it. Honestly, what's the worst that can happen? I've pinned it, and then I think I'm gonna sew across there so that when it opens, it will sit flat like that and then I can trim off the excess. <gasps> First time. I do not have the time or the patience for this right now. I don't know why I didn't do this last night. Does that look tight enough to you? I hope I've done it in the centre. Hmm. She's only gone and done it. You can't even tell from the back, I don't think. Right, I've done it. I'm going to quickly go and shower and get ready and I'll come back looking a lot more glamorous than I do right now. We're back. Looking significantly more glamorous in 45 minutes. <laughs> but I've got another wardrobe dilemma. These shoes are like half a size too big. So I've been told about these little silicone strips that you can stick in the back of your shoe. I'm hoping that this will just keep them up. Otherwise, I'll be wearing them as mules. That feels more secure. Makeup, I've just gone for a bit of a brown, smoky liner. A bit of a lived in kind of look. My skin is so glowy after the facial, so I really wanted to keep the skin natural. I've just gone for like a warm, browny nude lip. If you want to see the makeup, it'll be on my Instagram or my TikTok. I'm not sure which one yet. This is my outfit. I'm running late, so I need to get a move on. to the masses, which is what we're all about. The thing that we're bringing to life and we're celebrating with this launch is, is the power of mascara. And as Kendall says herself in the ad, it's not just what a mascara does to your lashes, but it's how a mascara can make you feel. Um, we all know when we found that mascara that's the one, it can make you feel more confident, more powerful, more ready to face the world. Um, at the end of the day, we're, we're all worth it, and that's why we're all here tonight. We don't talk about nothing no more. We don't We are home. Now it's Sunday. Oh, what a mood. <laughs> Such a hard life, haven't you, Blue? The last thing I filmed will have been on Wednesday at the L'Oreal event, which was such a beautiful event. They'd basically hired out the whole restaurant and it was a dinner and then an after party upstairs. Basically had tables for each agency, which was really nice because it meant that I got to chat with a lot of... Okay, bye-bye. 
but it was such a lovely evening it meant that I got a chance to speak to other people that are with my agency two of my agents were there and it's not very often that they get to come to events with us so that was really lovely the event was for the launch of the new panorama mascara which I have right here I'm also wearing it today I filmed this look for TikTok so if you want to see what I've got excuse me if you want to see the makeup I'm wearing right now, head to my TikTok. But I can safely say this has quickly become a new favourite in my mascara collection. Can you see the wand on it? Michael just got back from his Sunday run and he's in the shower. So I've shut him in here with me and he's whining like a little baby. But I've said it before, L'Oreal do some of my favourite mascaras and that is going straight up there. Thursday, I intentionally didn't vlog because I was just travelling home. And the closer I got back to Leeds, the snowier it was getting. So I had to reschedule my nail appointment, which I had booked in that afternoon. And I just spent the afternoon unpacking and catching up with some stuff. Then Friday, I had my assistant with me. So I spent Friday doing a lot of filming and editing working on blog posts that are coming soon. Generally just stuff I didn't think was interesting filming. And then Saturday, after feeling like I was getting better, the flu hit me like a ton of bricks again. I'm still not 100%. I feel like I'm really bunged up and I keep coughing. So that's not good. But today is Sunday and I'm heading over to Grantley Hall for an event with Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm very excited about. It's for the launch of the new lipsticks, which I have on right now. I've got the shade Icon Baby on. She's launched five shades in new pink lipsticks, as well as five new shades of red. This is one of my favourites of the pinks. So yeah, I've just got ready this morning for that. It is currently half past 10 and the event starts at 12. And it says on the invite 12 till 6, which is a really long event. But it's basically a masterclass with one of the pro artists at Charlotte Tilbury followed by an afternoon tea and I love Grantley Hall. We went there to celebrate my birthday in November and it's such a beautiful place. Honestly, the spa there, one of the best spas I've ever been to. <laughs> if you're ever looking for a good staycation, definitely check out Grantley Hall. I'm really excited to go back and I'll bring you along with me. Hey buddy. Hey. I'm just heading to Grantley Hall now. I definitely could have drove myself, but Michael's offered to take me, so I'm being a passenger princess. <laughs> I just need a quick lip top up because I've just eaten some food before I come out. Look how gorgeous the shade is. Love it. event I'm just heading to the main house now because Michael has only just set off it's finished a little bit earlier and um, so I'm gonna go sit and have a drink in the bar on my own and sit and wait for him to come look how gorgeous this place is the sun's starting to set so beautiful <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've been up to this week. I've really enjoyed bringing you along. Let me know if you want to see more of this vlog style content and I will try my best. Don't get me wrong, not every week looks like this, but the weeks that I am in London for work, this is what it kind of looks like. But for the rest of the night, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to have a bit of a pamper. My hair needs washing desperately. So I'm going to go do that and give myself a fresh blow dry for the week ahead. Do let me know in the comments what type of videos you'd like to see from me and I will try my best. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.